Hey everyone, it's Sarah Floda here today and I am here to show you week 30 something, 33 in my bullet journal. I, um, it's been a, it's been a year. <laughs> I was going to say it was a weekend um, and I didn't get around to filming, but uh, honestly, it's just, it's been a really long year. <laughs> so I did not touch my bullet journal on Monday. I didn't touch my bullet journal over the weekend. There was just so much happening. We're getting a fence installed in our backyard and uh, yeah, so it didn't happen. <laughs> so that's why you saw the PP weeks on Monday and I am going to hop on into my bullet journal. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. My life is crazy. Sorry in advance. Um, I hope you like this video and please stick around till the end because I do talk about um, where I want this channel to go and I want a lot of your feedback. So please stick around um, and let me know in the comments below uh, your thoughts and opinions on what I talk about. So thank you so much for joining and uh, here we go. Okay, so <laughs> it is Tuesday when I work on this, my brain just, I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's just wrapped up in all this whole 2020 is a dumpster fire situation that I keep talking about. But yeah, 2020 is a dumpster fire. So I was not able to touch my planner this weekend on Monday. So here I am on a Tuesday <laughs> filling in my planner and doing my very classic horizontal because when my brain doesn't want to work, this is the spread I always go to. Always, always, always is this horizontal spread. So you can see that I am doing the blue ombre to signify the depths of the water is, is kind of the, the thing I was going for with this blue ombre situation. And I go back in with um, some more paneling and things like that to make all the different elements. So you have like the seaweed, you have um, coral and you have the different architecture designs um, like the crumbles of Atlantis. Again, I will try to finally do a scene. I just can't really process my life right now so I'm, I'm just doing the best I can. <laughs> so this is what I've got for you all today. So I'm sorry in advance for people that have been looking for me to do like a whole Atlantis scene, but I just, <laughs> I can't even do real life right now. So doing a whole artistic scene doesn't seem reasonable to my brain. video I kind of want to talk about something else because y you all have seen me set up this horizontal video over and over again um, it's just a little different because I add seaweed and Atlantis instead of whatever else I've done in the past so I want to talk about something a little bit different um, for those who watch other youtubers and things like that I think most of you have seen youtubers go through different phases. The video that I watched just recently is Jazza, who is formerly Draw With Jazza's video on his phases and how he just feels like he needed to evolve from different types of things that he was getting stuck into. And I'm trying to figure out if that applies to me because I can't seem to grow this channel. I don't know if it's a me thing. I don't know if it's, um, I'm not doing a good enough job behind the scenes when it comes to different types of tags and things like that. I don't know if it's just my voice is annoying. Um, I've been told I sound like Zoe de Chanel, so I don't know. That, <laughs> I'm sure that voice is annoying to some people and my voice is annoying to some people as well. I don't know if some people think I'm 
fake? I don't know. I don't really know. So I'm trying to figure out how I can navigate forward while doing some other types of videos as well. I decided today to look back on some of my other types of videos and see just which ones are more popular, what is getting the views, what is, what is getting the likes, all the all the things that I keep asking you guys to do, like subscribe and hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz. <laughs> um, I wanted to see what videos were leading you to do that type of stuff. So, I mean, most of the things that I saw are the 10 types videos, which I do like doing but they are a lot of work for me <laughs> so that's why I only do it about once a month um, because that's pretty much all I can handle so I'm trying to figure out other things I can do some other types of DIY some other types of art um, just some maybe some art challenges might be fun so I'm just trying to figure out things that you all might be interested in and I'm not looking for the comments that really say like, oh, I'll watch anything you put out. I, I really want some constructive <laughs> um, feedback onto like different types of things that you think that I could do. Um, maybe different types of challenges. I've, I've talked about doing um, Jazz's Arty Games app where you put in the colors that you have and you only use those like two or three colors to do an entire art piece or something like that. So I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. I, I'm a little fried by 2020, so I need to shake things up and I'm hoping that you will help me out when it comes to what you are interested in seeing. Also, you see me <laughs> using my Muji gel pen here, which I should have used my Tombow Mono drawing pen because I tried to write over it later and that didn't quite work because of how the gel pen works. But Thursday's my birthday, which you can see that I wrote really large on there. And uh, I took the day off. So I, I started writing my normal thing before I realized that uh, it was my birthday. <laughs> so shout out to me who forgot her own birthday. No big deal, no big deal. I know that this is coming from a place that seems like selfish because I'm looking for more subscribers, but what I'm really trying to do is reach more people and make this a sustainable thing. I really enjoy doing YouTube videos, so I, I would really like to grow my audience because <laughs> at some point it becomes a three videos a week isn't really sustainable on the types of subscribers that I have but I need to do those types of videos in order to get subscribers so it's like this never-ending circle trying to figure out how much to do and how how to make it more sustainable so I want to try some new things um, so I hope you all will be patient with me as I try to explore some of those things and I really appreciate those who you know often say I'll watch anything you put out because it really does mean a lot to me. So I don't know that's all I'm gonna say. If you have any requests or comments or um, ideas please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz. I will see you next time. Bye everyone!